On October 7th, Latessenbet Gede from Ethiopia absolutely smashed the world record for the women's 5,000 meters, running a time of 14 minutes, 6.62 seconds. This performance took down the previous world record of 14 minutes, 11.15 seconds, set by fellow Ethiopian Tiranish Dababa back on June 6th of 2008. This was a monumental performance. Building up to this Valencia world record day, the primary race that many were looking forward to was the men's 10,000 meter world record attempt, headlined by the great Joshua Cheptegei from Uganda. However, G'day was out for history, and at 4 minutes and 32 seconds per mile, or 2.49 per kilometer, this run was simply amazing. For the entirety of this race, she was absolutely motoring, and over the final 400 meters, she powered away into the record books. Indeed, this record time was a groundbreaking achievement in the sport of athletics. But believe it or not, this is not the world record that we'll be talking about in this video, as Gade actually had a previous performance back in November of 2019 that not only destroyed the previous world record, but according to the World Athletics Ranking System, it's the single greatest running world record in the history of women's athletics. On this fateful day back in 2019, Gade ran one of the most unbelievable road races of all time. In the 15K Seven Hills Run, or the Seven Hevelin Loop, she literally outperformed many world-class male athletes, and she did this very much to their surprise. Throughout the entirety of this run, she really did look effortless, and just look at her form. During this part of her race, her pace often dipped well below 4 minutes and 40 seconds per mile, and as she got closer and closer to the finish line, it was obvious that the world record was in real danger. With a finishing time of 44 minutes and 20 seconds, she averaged 4 minutes and 45 seconds per mile, or 2 minutes and 57 seconds per kilometer. This kind of pace rarely even happens on the track, and speaking of the track, she ran her final 10,000 meters of this race in 29 minutes and 13 seconds, a time that is actually faster than the current 10,000 meter world record of 29.17 set by Almaz Ayana back in 2016. Yeah, that's a fact that is truly remarkable. However, this final 10K is a little deceitful, as the course had a fairly significant downhill over these final six miles, but still, the total course was full of multiple uphills and downhills, making this single performance one of the greatest of all time. But exactly why is this world record held in such high regard? Well, to answer this question, let's take a look at the World Athletics Scoring System. Now, this total scoring table is quite complex, as it considers multiple factors to reach one final number. And if you're interested, I'll leave a link in the description to the most updated scoring system down below, so check it out if you're interested. But be careful, this document is 360 pages. Basically, this system uses a scoring scale ranging from 1 point all the way up to 1,400, with 1 being the smallest score possible, and 1,400 being the hypothetical perfect performance. This theoretical score of 1,400 is quite fascinating when you look at the various performance barriers to reach the so-called perfection. In fact, take a guess at what times a male and a female would have to run in the 5,000 meters to reach this perfect score. Go ahead, I'll give you a few seconds. On the men's side, an athlete would have to run a time of 12 minutes 10.09 seconds, and on the women's side, a time of 13 minutes, 3.48 seconds would need to be achieved. Needless to say, a 1400 score is pretty much impossible, at least at the current level of athletics. Now for Gade's 5000 meter run, her time of 14 minutes and 6 seconds earned her a score of 1269 points, which is a very, very respectable number for this current ranking system. However, this record run does not even come close to her 15K performance back in 2019. For Gade's 44 minute and 20 second time, she earned a massive score of 1,319 points, which is a score that outshines many other all-time great performances. 
Even against the almost inconceivable 100-meter record of Florence Griffith Joyner, where she ran a time of 10.49 seconds, Gade's net score still manages to come out on top. A few other amazing performances that are still under Gade's 15K record include Elliot Kipchoge's marathon world record, Joshua Cheptegei's records in both the 5,000 and the 10,000, and also Bridget Koskei's world record for the women's marathon. Now, this scoring system is not perfect, but it does do a decent job at comparing all-time performances, and because of this, it does give us some idea at how incredible Gade's 15K time really was. But there's actually one more reason why this race was so amazing, and that's the fact that she took down many world-class male athletes. Down the home stretch here, we can see that she manages to outlast this one specific runner, and this athlete is Daichi Endo from Japan. Now, I highly doubt that Endo ever thought that a female athlete would manage to defeat him during this race. Then again, nobody had ever seen a performance quite like this. If we take a look at Endo's current personal bests, which he has run quite recently, we can see that both in the 10,000 meters and the half marathon, his lifetime bests are well ahead of the current world records on the women's side. Now, does this mean that Gade might in fact be able to take down both of these world records and run times that get close to the times of Daichi Endo? Well, actually yeah, that is what this means. If Gade were somehow able to run a 10,000 meter time of 28 minutes and 34 seconds, which would certainly be an unbelievable achievement in women's athletics, this would yield a score of 1,328 points according to the World Athletics Scoring System. This would be absolutely mind-blowing, and while it is theoretically possible, I think a performance of this caliber will have to wait at least a few more years. Now for the half marathon, if Gade were to run a time of 1 hour 3 minutes and 53 seconds, which would make her the first runner to go under 1 hour and 4 minutes, she would achieve a score of 1,299 points, which is significantly below her current 15k world record score. As we previously mentioned, this one performance currently sits as the single greatest world record in the history of women's running. And on this day back in 2019, Gade was only 21 years of age. To achieve such an amazing performance at such a young age is quite remarkable, but based on her junior years, where she won two consecutive World Junior Cross Country titles, this kind of accomplishment was simply the next step for a runner of her caliber. This one world record is extremely special. Not only did she completely demolish the previous best time, but she showcased amazing poise at a pace that no one had ever seen before. It only makes sense that she just recently broke the 5,000 meter world record, and moving into 2021, I fully expect her to do tremendous things as the Olympics get even closer. And now I pass this final question off to you. What times do you think Gade will run in the future, and how many world records will she take down? Leave a comment down below and share your thoughts on this amazing Ethiopian. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.